Here are five stunts that are so absurd that they will never be performed ever again. But first, a warning. Do not attempt. I am a professional. Trick number one is swinging off of this bar an extremely far distance to this wall and immediately doing a wall flip before I touch the ground. Now it's worth noting that I have swung really far distances for the last like 12 years of my life because that's what I do for a living. But one of the coolest things about this challenge is that's not even how the challenge started. My original challenge was just to swing off that bar and make it all the way to the wall. I was trying to just see if I could make it to the little handholes that are in that wall and I tried working and progressing my way up and just seeing if I could land kind of high on that wall which already took a lot of tries. But then after completing that challenge and also doing a bunch of other swing challenges for like a year I came up with the idea to try the flip out of it. When I first tried this challenge I put down a bunch of mats and just kind of like slowly started to progress and get closer and closer to getting it and to be honest it was kind of a joke at first like I didn't even know if it was going to be possible. As I tried a bunch of these I realized it was possible it was just going to be insanely hard and as I got closer and closer to getting it I eventually took away the mats and had a couple of pretty hard falls but then I ended up getting it. This is definitely a stunt that no one will ever repeat. I mean look how much air time I got on that trick. Look at my reaction in this video. Even I couldn't believe that I had pulled this off. The second challenge that will never be repeated is when I jumped off of the second floor to this bar and then swung back up onto the second floor. This was not only a very difficult move but it was also over a very large drop meaning if I missed that bar it wouldn't have ended very well. I started by practicing that same technique on a much lower bar just practicing swinging under and back up and I even had one more idea that I thought would help get me over the fear of the heights which was diving off the second floor grabbing a foam noodle and then falling into the foam pit which when you look at it doesn't seem like a great progression you know since in that progression I actually fall but something about just being up higher and locking Locking my focus on grabbing that foam noodle really did help. And when I finally went for it, I remember it like it was in slow motion. I remember being so concentrated on just that bar and nothing else. And when I finally went for it, it worked. Skill number three was a complicated one. Skill number three was swinging on this crazy looking contraption, doing a 360 as I let go of one side and grabbing onto the next set of handles. And this crazy looking thing is actually a Ninja Warrior obstacle that was built by my grandpa, Brett Sim. The way you're supposed to do this obstacle is by swinging on it, throwing it back so that you can grab the next set of handles. And that's why this obstacle is called the throwback. Brett has actually designed a lot of the obstacles that have been on the TV show American Ninja Warrior, but this obstacle is a newer one and therefore it hasn't been on the TV show yet. And let me tell you, when I first tried this obstacle, it was so terrifying. And that's because when you throw that bar and the other one starts coming towards you, it feels like it's gonna hit you in the face. And on top of that, you have to throw it really fast for it to work. So adding a 360 to it is a pretty ridiculous idea. But on a static normal bar, I'm actually really good at doing 360s and re-grabbing back on. So I figured, hey, let's find out if it's possible. When I started trying this challenge, it was so difficult for me that it actually took me several days of attempts. And I remember when trying this, it was just constantly hitting my hand over and over again so many times. And I remember my hands hurting so much, but just not wanting to give up because I was getting so close. But in the end, I'm glad I didn't give up because I finally ended up getting it. I'm so happy that I kept fighting for this. I mean, just like, Look how cool this trick looks. I was so excited when I finally got this. I do think that this trick is possible for someone to repeat, but I just don't think that anyone ever will. I kind of hope that someone proves me wrong though. Stunt number four is actually another one that has to do with American Ninja Warrior. The goal was to front flip off this trampoline and during the front flip, open up these doors so that I could land with my weight dispersed across them. Now this challenge has a pretty cool backstory. As you might know, I've competed on American Ninja Warrior a couple different times now. And even though I've actually hit a buzzer on the show and won $10,000, I'm a little bit more well known for doing a different trick on the show. And that is when I attempted to front flip into the obstacle called the jumping spider. Now, sadly, last time I tried it, I didn't actually land inside of it. I ended up falling when I had my chance on the show. But the crowd and the producers of the show were so excited that after everyone ran, they actually let me try again for fun and I ended up getting it. But doing a front flip into this new version of the obstacle where I have to push open doors in order to land inside of it was gonna be, might I say, nearly impossible. But 
possible. When I first started trying it, I was just front flipping and landing in front of it a bunch of times because I was so scared to even touch the doors. But eventually I got over the fear and I started actually kicking the doors open, but it was so hard to get far enough in the doors and open them fast enough to where I could actually land in it. And I pretty quickly realized that this was gonna be one of the hardest things I've ever done. And after like three hours of failing it over and over again, I finally did get one. One, that's that's all I got. I did it once and I've never done it again since. And to be honest, I don't think anyone ever will do that again. Stunt number five was probably the most dangerous thing that I've ever done inside my gym. The challenge was to do a 360 dive all the way across this gap over this bar and to grab that bar so I could swing out of it. When I initially had the idea for this challenge, it wasn't to do it with a 360. I actually made a whole video Video on me learning how to just dive over that bar and catch it and the whole process of how I safely learned how to do that without the 360. But then about a month went by and I realized it was possible to add a 360. And since this was gonna be quite potentially the hardest thing I've ever done, I broke this down like a science and did as many prerequisites as possible before actually attempting this. I practiced doing the 360 dive and grabbing a bar and just landing on my back on a mat at the same exact distance as the end goal challenge a bunch of times. Then with a bunch of mats, I found a bar gap that was much shorter that could kind of replicate the challenge, but just not quite as far. And I did it there a bunch of times. And then finally, I put a ton of mats like everywhere. And on my first few tries, I was absolutely peeling off that bar, just flying to my back because of how much impact there was on my arms when I grabbed that bar. Now I do want to note that originally my idea was just to do it with mats and I had no intention of taking the mats away at all. But for some reason, something just like clicked in my head and I became the most focused I have ever been in my entire life. And I just got in this mindset where I knew I could take the mats away and do it. So on my first and only try, I went for it and I actually got it and immediately swung into another flip out of it. And I literally can't even explain how excited I was to complete this challenge. I mean, I literally just like laid down on the floor for a few minutes. Like I literally couldn't even stand. Now you might've noticed that all five of those stunts I just showed were all from the same location. I made it that way on purpose because if you guys like this video, I will make a whole nother one of these on the five hardest tricks that I've done outside of the gym as well. I've also done a lot of other stunts in the gym that will probably never be done again and it was honestly kind of hard to narrow it down to these five so here are a couple honorable mentions of really cool tricks that i've done while i explain this last little outro first of all here's a little sneak preview at a shirt that i just finished designing it is now available at this link second of all don't forget to subscribe and third thanks for watching and like i really do mean that i'm not just saying that because that's what you're supposed to say like it actually really helps me like this you watching this video is what helps me pay my bills. So like, honestly, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day.